Welcome to Witchfire. Uh, oh yeah, that's very loud. Okay, that's extremely loud. Um, I've been, I, I got this game last night. I, I've been playing it a lot. As you can tell by my being level 16 as a penit, as a penitent. Um, this game is good. Basically, so last time, somebody mentioned it during Zorin, because I'd forgotten that this game existed. So I was like, you know what, maybe I should play it. It was a fellow chat member. And I was like, maybe I should go in and try this out. And boy, oh boy, is it good. Um, I was playing it all of last night, and I just couldn't stop playing it because it was that fun. Basically, and it's a reason why today there's no V2 model, because my computer would probably crash and break. Basically, this is, imagine if you had... Uh, who are you? Oh, oh, it's you! Oh. Imagine if you had... Wait, I can buy gold with Witchfire? Imagine if you had a roguelike first-person shooter that had actual good gunplay. <laughs> Whereas, I think Remnant and Remnant 2 are the third-person shooter equivalents of this. I think this is the first-person equivalent of this. And boy, oh boy, is it fun. It's really, really good. The, not only is the visual amazing, I think this game has a very, very beautiful visual flair. The performance runs extremely stellar. The gameplay loop is very addictive, and my only complaint is it takes a while to get between different maps. And a lot of the weapons don't feel very fun to use. Well, I'm sorry. Or rather, I'm not a big fan of long-range weapons, and I keep researching them in the hopes that there's like a machine gun. But I'm realizing that the way they talk about long-range weapons it quite literally says this is long range sniper rifle. And then short range is like a shotgun and medium range is only pistols and stuff. So I, I, I don't think there's an assault rifle except for the ricochet, which I tried and they didn't like, but we'll, we'll see. But the game's really good. Um, still in early access. It's made by devs of, I don't know, Destiny 2 and other such shooting games. There's quite a few of them actually. What's interesting is that uh, while the stat system is very, very simple, when you get into a map, that's when it gets complex. It's, it's a bit like Vampire Survivors, in, in a sense. And it's probably the best way to describe it, because I think most people are more aware of what Vampire Survivors is than the, than the term roguelike. Imagine the Vampire Survivors force you to aim at everything with a gun, but still had a cool map to discover, right? That's basically what this is. There's also different mapping details that only open up at higher difficulties. So ver again, very similar to Vampire Survivors, which is a very weird comparison, but I think it works. Oh shit, this is not where I, I, I didn't want to spawn here. Oh my god, he broke my focus. Uh, this is Gnosis 1. So, you have to go up difficulties. Your difficulty level is like your Gnosis. And there's different things that you can get as you go up. So you get different new enemy types, uh, you get different weapons that can now appear. But you also get new different mapping things that you can open up, which is interesting to me. Let me just kill one burning collapse of the fireworks. Sure. And it's very, very interesting because you wouldn't think a game like this would have so much detail in terms of what you can and can't do. Um, the map also has things that, uh, and it highlights things that you, you could do. So for instance, you can go around and you can read these things over here. You can uh, then go do these dangerous errors. This is how you primarily get your skill points within the uh, the uh, map, which is what you just saw there with the fire move as I lost my focus. This game's mechanics are very, very similar to... It feels a little like a Doom Eternal type of deal where you need to have the right weapon for the right situation, but not to the extent of like you, you, you can only kill enemies with a certain weapon type. But more so, like, if you're long range, this pistol wouldn't work. Whereas this thing would work. And enemies are very clear in when they're going to hit you. So you just need to be very aware of what they're doing at all times. But yeah, really good game. That's basically the entire game. So from here on out, this is a one hour trek into whatever I want to do for the heck of it. Because I really enjoyed this, shoot, this one shooting game. And I couldn't stop playing it. And I figured I might as well show what I have in progress. Because we're going to see some cool stuff soon, I think. Well, because partially reload the magazine. I don't know if this gives ammo. I'm going to say this is better. Because uh, I kill way less than I actually do. That makes sense. Curious object. This might be useful, actually. Now, there is something interesting about the flow of this game. Um, there's a lot of walking. This is my biggest complaint about it. Unlike Vampire Survivor, and I think Vampire Survivor does this the best of any roguelike that I've ever, ever played. This game has a lot of walking. You need to walk for a very long time to get to any action. 
it's just sort of part and parcel with how the game rolls, right? But wherever you walk, there's a very good chance you're always going to find something cool. Like this. I don't know what this is. Defeat the Vault Guardians before the time runs out. What? What Vault Guardians? Oh, shit. Get burned. Okay, I guess he's in the Vault, vault Guardians. That's crazy that, that he dodged me so hard. Wow. Um, as you can tell, this game is very, very difficult at times. It depends on what you face and that stuff. But especially some enemy types, like the Musketeers fire pretty damn fast. In a way, it feels like the most refined type of um, first-person shooter that I've played in a very long time. Or one of the most refined. It feels a lot like a very, very capable first-person shooter that you'd find in any other genre type. This is power lies in late. What, what did you say? I'm trying to kill the son of a bitch. He's not dying. Ow. This rifle sucks. It's my first time trying it. it sucks. Oh, fuck the burn. But I need to kill 20... So, the reason why I'm using this gun is because you need to kill 25 enemies with this gun to be able to, like, do things. You can't just not have it, or just have it, but not use it. Delicious power lies in wait. Problem is that, oh my god, it sucks so much that I don't even want to do it, actually. Now, I'm playing as the Penitent too, and I didn't realize, but the Metanoia is prime undead. There's a stack called Metanoia. All it really gives you is more Witchfire. And so now we get into the meta of the game. You, had, I, I did that to show you what to do. I did that to show you what we're going to do. Let's just get a new gun. <laughs> I think I need a new gun. This thing sucks. What is this? I'll see eye my ass. What the? You'll see shit. Ah, good. Flame us. When ignited, the scope burns enemies. Use the stamina. Okay, how about I get like an actual good gun, please? I'm begging you, please. <laughs> oh. we'll, uh, we'll use mine. My thing that I enjoy using. I love the hailstorm, actually. This thing is disgusting. It's your bog standing sniper rifle. If you know me, you know I love sniper rifles. And that's basically the entire metagame. It's a very simple game on the surface, right? It's it's why I liken it to Vampire Survivors. It has a lot of cool things about it that makes it look interesting, but it's really just this for now. Obviously, it's early, it's early access, and so you don't really get much, but. What you get is a very capable set of things that makes you go, ah, yes, th this is great. It's just enough to make you realize that it's a good game, but also it teases you for more, and you only wish that early access like, could magically make things faster, but that's not really the way the world works, so. I hate the swordsman. Now, there's, there are some cool mechanics. Like, you see the red orb? It, it, if you dash, you can summon the red orb to then blast them. Which is kind of cool. Um, as you saw with this gun, three headshots in a row eventually make or give you ammo. When you die, you, you drop all your stuff, but you can go back to grab it as well. Bullets well, randomly cause double damage to burn the enemies. That's interesting. I don't burn them very often, but sure. There's chests around the map that you can open to give you items, like healing potions and stuff. Um, and every single time you play the game, those unlocks when you level up. They differ a little bit every single time. It's not the same every single time. So, a lot of complexities in the ways that you go about the game's basic stat system. They they do a great work of giving it enough interesting bits without overcomplicating it to make it annoying. Which can tend to be the the reason why these games don't really work out well. That's one. Need three headshots in a row to regain ammo, so I need to aim carefully. And I'm going basically melee range, but it really does work. This gun also uses stamina, so I do need to be careful too. Um, your yellow bar bottom right is your stamina. Most of the things are the same as well. Last elixir. Use raven feathers to unveil. It's too late. I've done actually, because I dropped them all. I dropped it all? 
Oh, I dropped it all. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we have to go back inside and get that. Maybe I should come back here when I have more stats. I probably should come back here when I have more arcana. Okay, which are basically your traits. Now, what's interesting is that the game actually has a pretty cool story. It's very similar to a lot of the ancient, I guess, like, uh, decisions that made the Salem Witch Trials a thing, right? So if you're aware of the Salem Witch Trials and what happened there, you're probably pretty much aware of most of the game story. Pretty cool. Not, not cool as in, like, it happened, but cool as in, like, a very interesting sort of... Uh, historical thing, but turned into a much more fantastical element. As you can probably tell. Very nice. Okay, there we go. Now you spawn, eh? One behind me. Eh? Now, when my foot... When your stamina bar is yellow, you get the ability to do those orb things. It's why it's super important not to hit. So there's a lot of disadvantages from being hit, and there's a lot of skill checks that you can get. Or, there's a lot of skill that matters. Because not being hit allows you to do something like that, which gives you a huge boost in uh, the damage. Ow. As I immediately get hit. But I did go through that a lot easier. Malicious power allows him to You the guardian? Oh. Well, don't worry, it's fine. It's fine. Just minor, minor issues. It's fine. There's this little text on the bottom left that tells you what's happening on the map, so the hunt is moving closer and stuff. I don't know what that stuff means. I, I really don't know. That's that's the one thing that makes me go like, I don't know what the point of that is. It's a bit like it's a bit like an MMO event that randomly shows up to bother you. Because what does it matter to me that the hunt is moving closer? Am I not the hunt? Like, I thought I was a hunter. You're kidding me. I had no stamina, so I couldn't dodge. So yeah, there, there's some things about this game that are interesting, or it's strange. The whole, the hunt is moving closer. Um, some messages make sense, like the portal that you start from. Uh, like there's a portal that can take you out of here if you don't want to die constantly, and you can eventually get... You know, different portals that show up as well, say with calamities and stuff. But for the most part, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these messages really don't seem to matter. <laughs> In terms of uh, telling you anything useful. That's the entire game. Again, very simple on the surface, but so goddamn effective that for the past, I don't know, two hours last night, I was just playing this constantly. It's just so good. And I'm very early game. Excuse me, frenzied orbs, kill the wood. Frenzied orbs are attacking an oblet. Okay, well, what fucking oblet? Holy fuck. That was a bad spot to sound. You may also notice that this game is very heavy in terms of range. If your weapon has bad range, your weapon has bad range. You need to be very, very close up to deal damage. Blood transfer. And what is the obelisk? That's the obelisk. You just demolish it. Because of that, it's really hard to deal with some enemy types, especially the melee types that can demolish you um, if you get close. It, it takes a bit of effort to figure out like, a good angle to kill the most enemies from. Like that. See? Just like that. Same concept. Well, one more dude somewhere. But it's really good at what it does. The obelisk stays. Heals me too. I think it's an effective story too. I know it's a weird thing to say about this game. I think this game does a very good job of having a very effective story. Because the story is a bit like a John Wick. <laughs> I know I said that a lot, but like I, I feel like John Wick is a masterclass and how to tell a story with as little exposition as possible. Not a masterclass, but... 
Maybe not Master Class. Maybe Master Class is a bit too crazy to say, but it does feel like one of the best games or best things to watch because there's no explanation. You just kind of have to accept certain things, right? You are the right arm of of the Pope, and the Pope said you have to go and kill these. You have to kill the witch, and there's one witch. So all of this is the manifestation of one single witch, and it, it's it's why the Bible verses mention witches very often and why the Salem witch trial witch trials happened. They really did believe that the witches were that's wrong. And that's why it's so effective. It's an imagining of what happens if the witches were that strong. What happens if you did have to deal with the witch who could do all of this? Summon demons and do all these like crazy things. How would you as a society survive? Well you wouldn't. Just a question, right? I hate that so much. And then if you die twice, you lose your previous bag. My only complaint about this game is that because it's very first person shooter and, and you need to dash very, like very, very often, it's hard to, to, to know where you are in the space. There's a skill to knowing where you are in space and not fall off. But I find the penalties for falling off to be way too strong for what the game is trying to, to, to do. It's, it's my one major complaint. Because it's like... Uh, it, it's, it's more of a frustrating bit of the, how this game is and just how the perspective works. And it's an issue that we shared with any first-person shooter. Right? You see this a lot in Valorant, too. When you have, um, say, the maps that can allow you to fall off the map. Which is not very like often, but when it does happen, it's very, very annoying. You use a dash in the wrong place and you fall off, you're basically dead. If you jump off the wrong way, you're basically dead. If you don't, if you mess up a jump, you take a bit of fall, fall, fall damage. Same thing, same deal. Here though, the consequence feels a lot higher when you, you quite literally die for good. Um, you need to restart the, and you need to restart the entire run, right? Even in a game like Valorant, you have a bit of leeway in terms of you getting back into it. Or like any face from the but this one, because it's it, this is modeled after a first-person extraction shooter, so very again very similar to Zorin in a sense, which I enjoy. But the difference between this and Zorin is that you don't lose all of your all of your weapons. Which feels a bit more palpable, more fun. Though to be fair, the stat system is different too, so it's a whole different comparison. But yeah, just not a big fan of the having to remember where I am on, on the map. Which is a weird complaint to have, but it's because I I don't find it to be a very, very fun thing to have to be aware of. Like, I, I don't look at the map and, and go, ah, oh, yes, I really enjoy being aware of where I am at all, at all moments. Um, the map, to me, sort of doesn't really matter. Like, just the idea of the arena. And I've never enjoyed insta-deaths because of one single hole somewhere. I get the point of them. I'm just saying I personally don't like it. <laughs> I get it. I get why they exist. It's to punish people like me, but I just, I hate being punished. <laughs> Which is why I like this game. Because as, as annoying as the game is, to me to play, I can't help but want to play it. And that's the, that's the most effective part of it. Even feeling bad about it, you still can't help yourself but want to play the game. It's just that good. Any weapon damage on enemies counts as critical hits? Sure. There's another flaw of the game too, actually, that's more annoying, that's sort of a part of that same problem, but not really. Because the geometry is very complex, you can sort of tell this. The map is very, very complex in the way it looks, and the game looks be beautiful. They really capture a sense of scale well. Um, to that end, though, uh, the map is very, very annoying to traverse at times, and also sometimes you just you'll, you'll get snagged on a rock or like a chest or something. And in a in a combat fight, it's, it's kind of a major deal. Outside of combat, not that not the bit not that big of an issue because you can skip out of it for, for the, with the unstuck button. But in combat, it's basically death. I still don't know what, what to do if you get stuck in, in the combat. 
Increase weapon damage at full health. Sure. Yeah, I'll stay full health. Sure. Dangerous area. But great game. Really good. That's why we're playing this for like an hour or two. Just really quick. Maybe there. It's also a good break because like, I don't even remember what we were doing before, except for sound. Like That's annoying because like, you can just ass up. Slowly. Nice. Kill him in one go, actually. That was good. Usually you need to... He, he, he takes a certain amount uh, uh, of damage, then, then he runs away. It's sort of annoying. A treasure. No, we'll go over here now. There's a new thing over here, actually. I don't know what this is. But yeah, you can find stuff like this all, all, all over the place. Um, different items that you can pick up that give you different stats. The itemization in this game is really sort of the, the best and the worst part. The guns are very, very good. It spends a long time the guns, but there isn't really much else to the stat system besides the guns. You, like, it doesn't seem like maybe, maybe once I get to rings and stuff, that'll, that'll change, but... At least in the early game, it's it's a pretty huge slog to get to the rings. Because the cost scaling of your leveling up, it's the exact same as any Souls-like game. It's a very long time before you get to play with things, and you need to be a certain level to do, do it. Where's the obelisk? Your protection is the dark reward. Yeah, sure. Whoa, 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 why me? Fuck you! I was reloading. Now I lost my damage bonus, huh? This thing will give me that. I should stay the battle focus. Nice. Fuck a bus. Mm. <laughs> That's not how it's. Not how it's you know, it like saying it. But. Another thing dude, that's kind of unwieldy is is the jumping and like the movement outside of combat. There's a lot of the time when you're just waiting for stamina even outside of combat. It feels weird. Cuz the cuz the traversing or the the traversing around the map is is sort of the best and the worst parts of it all all at the same time. It's a really cool map to find different secret things. But it's just really annoying to have to walk around, wait for stamina to come back. Walk around a bit, wait for stamina to come back. It's just frustrating. I love these enemies are called booze. Very funny. Who's that? Oh fuck, it's switch. Hey, good thing I got the uh, the stun before I got a thing. Because you can only stun them if you have um, focus. She goes away quickly. So, but again, what game is not without its flaws, right? But what they have, it works very, very well. That's a poison mushroom. God damn it. There's also this fucking like tool tip that I don't know if it's real or not. It says some mushrooms can heal you. I've never had a full health. I've never had a healing mushroom, ever. I think, I, I'm pretty sure it's a bait. 99% certain it's a bait. Yeah, see this? So, that tower, real thing, you have to you have to get to it. Takes a very long time to get to it. Not very enticing that to go up like a very high hill, but... But the problem is that if you remove that, it feels too fast, I think. Which is sort of the worst part, is that the game needs that slow pace to really, really settle in that you're on an island, you are by yourself, you are hunting the witch on your own. There is nobody going... That is going to help you. Except maybe the old prayer, right? Who is now dead. Spoilers. You find out within the, the first passage. Okay, what do you Flash over. Critical kills make a burning enemies explode and ignite others. Casting a spell grants no instance. Healing elixir. Oh good. Yes! Full health! <laughs> Get this. But it, you know, the the large length does make it feel like what's what's sort of the, like it takes a long like there's a lot of downtime in between action points, right? Which it's intended, but it, it doesn't mean it doesn't feel good, uh, feel bad. It's just it feels good and bad. It hurts, but it doesn't hurt. 
You know what I mean? It's so bad it's good, but it's so good it's bad. Oh shit, that's a witch. Now there are bosses in this game that I'm aware of, but I don't... We, I haven't seen them yet, as you can probably tell. But there should be a witch that you actually do fight, and I, I, the second map has a witch... has... The witch's right hand that I'm going to fight very, very soon. You fucker! Son of a bitch. Drew my shit. Health boost. At least can drop the biggest. Now I'll get more health. Please heal please heal me. <sighs> Wait, do I have a I may have a do I have a supply chest key? No. That's basically the entire game. It's fascinating too, because it's like it has the same qualities of a Vampire Survivors like game, or like a, uh, I guess like a probably a roguelike game. You can just put it on and you can listen. But unlike say, uh, what call it, Binding of Isaac, there's very little complexity in the choices you make. That's that's again, it's very simple. It's very focused on on the gunplay, but. It's not like a Binding of Isaac where you can do a million choices and it changes how you play in very different ways. It's not a complex stat system. Though e even that game, it's sort of the same gripe I have with the Warframe, where it's like it, it's just a stat system. It's not really crazy. Though. So it's important to be aware of that. You're like you're getting a very simple game on the surface. That is simple all the way through. Uh, bonus damage to burning fills when the burn ends. They heal part of the damage. What? Sure. I'm assuming the burn would do my damage too. And so it makes you wonder, right? Aside from getting more and more guns, which this game allows you to do, how do you make a more compelling and more complex state of uh, uh, the game in terms of the RPG mechanics, right? Because a lot of the cool things that you can do in this game is tied to your guns. Like, my pistol that I start with really rewards headshots. Really bad if you can't land headshots. But because of that, it, it seems like it has one of the best aims in the hipfire. Really good, easy to use in the hipfire. You, you basically never want to aim down because it's stupid. And you get a blessed bullet every single time you do but when you reload to get a bonus damage shot. So the better you are at it, the more damage you will eventually do. Nice. Oh fuck. Okay, well there goes all man. But because of that too, you're very low range. That makes it very ineffective. Against like say longer long long range like like yeah, this. Like my remains. Good. You spawn, you spawn. There's one thing that this game does do very, 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 very well, though. New enemy types. Like, those musketeers are there in the second map, but not in this map. But the reason why they're here is because I went up a difficulty level, which is nice. And you get to a better place to fight, please. That's right, get stunned at the time. Okay, well, that was bad. I was gonna go to the supply chest, but I need to make time now. Hmm. Um, there's a lot of ver enemy variety that forces you to move in very particular ways to be able to beat the game. The enemy AI is passable too, though they, they get kind of stupid, like if you hide behind doors and stuff, they don't know what to do. Okay, the melee damage is nice. Um, I also really hate the default key, the default keybinds, which I'm going to change soon. But basically, the default keybind for using a spell is way too close to D. And I only say that because I have tiny fingers. 
Hey, can I open you? Or? What is your secret? Oh. How do you crouch in this game? Oh. The dreams command me, and I obey. In the wall, I unearth a vile green glow. Alive, watching. The whispers urge me to follow. But I won't. But the light awaits. And stuff like that makes you go like, oh yeah, that's that's cool. You know what I mean? It's gnarly. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, 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 calm down. You're lucky. I don't, I don't have any rifle ammo. Oh shit, that's not, that's not good. Yeah, walk up to me. Yeah, 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 walk up to me. Ooh, fuck! I dodged, it, but it still hit me. Fuck. Very punishing. This game is a very punishing game. I, I think what I need is um, probably more luck. An instant focus is the boost of no, but those things. It's basically like souls. Those things are your um, crystallized, like soul gems that you crush to get more stuff. And it's nice. Over here, I gotta get that stuff. Over here. Yeah, solid, solid game. And uh, really expect it to be so good, but it's really good. Um, potion crafting is also very, very basic at the moment, so you only get healing potions, and healing potions are very it's just for healing. You don't have any, like you're you're really just there to get healing potions. This the there's nothing else. Quality <laughs> and quantity of items found in the world: endurance, dash length, healing duration, healing efficiency, max health. What do we look like? Twist. Oh. What? Can now do the third Mysterium in incantation. My brother in Christ, I've never even done a single Mysterium in incantation. What? What is a Mysterium? Oh. Let me change out the gun. I need to start using different guns to upgrade them. I won't change my pistol because it's so good, but... Hypnosis was okay. Let's try uh, Striga. I found this downstairs, so this should be cool. She just shoots a bolt. Which is pretty intense. Just a giant piece of wood. Hey, Chad. How are you? How are you? Welcome, welcome. Why did you name yourself after a pyramid scheme? From an entirely different country from yourself. I've always wondered this. Can I ask you now? <laughs> Is it weird and awkward for me to ask you live? To be fair, my name isn't that much more creative. But it will be once I rebrand. But it's so that makes you think. So that makes you think. Holy shit, that thing is good! Alright, buddy. Fuck you. Okay, I kind of love- okay, this, the Strieger is good. You got your name from a random board generator. <laughs> You're kidding me, really? <laughs> so it gave you the name, but you- but it happened to also be the name of a pyramid scheme? Critical kills make burning enemies explode in night noise. But that's only if you get a critical- that's only if they're already burning. That's another thing about this game. Status effects feel very difficult to achieve, but it's sort of like- I'd rather that than the alternative, which is the Warframe method, which is like, they're very easy to hit and they're required. You think it gave Mint with two M's originally, but you thought the three M's looked cooler. So you're, what you're saying is that you're a lot like the XXX, like if, let's say if your favorite character was Sephiroth and you want to name yourself Sephiroth, you would name yourself XXX Sephiroth, right? Like that's, that's what you're saying. It, it's not bad, but like, I can't believe I found one of my fellow people out there. Three greater than two. You are right. You are right. Good lead. <laughs> All weapon damage is critical for a short period, not just faster reload. Let me think about it. Oh, that's, an, that's, an, that's another thing about this game. Elites don't seem to change much besides their stats. So there's a lot of enemy variety, but elites themselves don't become interesting because they're elites. That's my only weird part. It's like they have a lot of 
it, I don't know what happened there, because usually what happens is games will do a lot of variety in the elites, but the enemy types are basic. So think of like Diablo 4 or something, where the enemy types are very, very simplistic in how they behave. Here kind of as well, but they actually do different types like types of attacks. Especially in the especially in the uh, the, uh, the uh, second map. Here it's the opposite, where it's like the enemy types are uh, feel like the elites. Whereas, uh, I, and I don't really know why. Uh -oh. So I will, there is one thing that is different about them. They do have double the, uh, but it feels like, it feels like double, but it might just be one more because the enemy only has one base. But they have extra orbs that you have to hit. Uh, oh, longer fire. Wait, that's good. Maybe we go for a fire build. Yeah, it's a very fascinating game. It's, it's, it's weird how the early access of this game feels good and bad. It's odd. It's definitely worth it. Like, if you enjoy this type of game, I've already gotten like four hours of uh, fun out of it. And I feel like I'm going to get more, and I'm only at the second map. So, so it only really gets better. But... I recognize that the price is pretty steep for what you get. But at the same time, it's sort of that original thing of like, how do you equate value in a game? This, this is, might be the worst weapon ever. To time spent, like how do you even equate value to the amount of time that it took to make something, right? Which is sort of true of any product sold in a capitalistic society. The, the actual intrinsic value of something is way higher. This gun really sucks. Oh my god. Oh! That's my other issue. I forgot. Melee attacks feel like the range on them is not very clear. Like, you can be pretty far away and it'll still still connect because... Range in this game for melee is a bit like most other games with melee where they seem to teleport and go above you for a bit. Red name is receiving more damage. Okay, well, let's go for a fire bolt. Sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? Elite goon. That's an elite goon. Holy shit. Like, they had to know what, what they were doing, right? Like, they... Everyone knows about goonies now. Such a well-known name. Oh, shit. Okay, that thing shreds now. The fire is amazing. Okay. Okay, bit of a sticky situation. I am glad that it does pin the enemy. A lot of games with the pinning gun don't really pin the enemy, which is kind of sad. Uh, more stuff. Blood transfer increase max health. Why not? Just play it safe. Let it go. Jesus. Now I need this one and that one, and then we go for boss. But you see what I mean by like the f the core loop of the game is weird, where it feels really good but also really bad at the same time. Like, there's a lot of walking for nothing, and once you've explored the map. This is the problem, right? Exploration is only a one-time thing, and because the map is not randomly generated, except for the locations of things, you have very little incentive to want to walk across the map again. It's one of those weird catch-22s of exploration. It's like, what's the point? You didn't die. Good.
So yeah, if you could sort of uh, look past these and understand why it's like this, and it feels fine, then I think it's good. It's just, it, it, it does feel kind of weird at times. Ah, demonic ammo. There's also demonic ammo, which I've never gotten a, 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 a weapon for it. Like, I, I, really, you should be getting one per gun, but... This game has a loadout system where you have three different guns. You have your demonic weapon, which I'm assuming is sort of like what Van Helsing had. You have your... God damn, it's a mushroom gun. You have your... Main gun, which is these, these, these guns. Then you've got your secondary gun, which is also one of these, these guns. There's no real distinction. You, you, you could do a wield rifles if you want to. What? What do you want to be feeling? Good thing I did. There you go. Holy shit. Yeah, just fucking pulp them. Jesus. They fucking pulp them. Pulp them. Holy shit. They fucking pulp them. And then you have two spells. You have a light spell and a heavy spell. Which I still only have... One spell as well. So there's a lot of unlocks that you need to do to get up to the state of where the game expects you to be to play the game. Kind of annoying. Never played this game. What's the loop? What's the goal? This is it. <laughs> this is... Like, I'm, I'm not even trying to be an asshole. This is it. This is all there really is. Well, you think you did the demo, but you assume that they changed it. Uh, probably, but also probably not. This it's probably the same game. But it's basically this. Hey, Narf, I'm also looking in your chat too. But basically what you see is basically the entire game. So, it's mostly the same. There's a bit of an exploration element, which I mentioned. It doesn't seem like there's much else beyond that which is fascinating but the exploration elements are interesting because as you go up in difficulty you get more different ways of playing so again it, 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 it's sort of like web fishing where if you don't like fishing you don't like this game same concept if you don't like shooting people then you don't like this, this game well, no, oh, sorry not people if you don't like shooting monsters then you don't like this game it's just, it's just the same concept um where it shines, though, is really how good it feels. It feels really good to play. It's just very static. Same game, pretty much? Yeah, same game, pretty much, yeah. But it's fun. If you like that, then it's fun. If you don't like it, then it's not that fun. <laughs> but it's always like a personal preference thing. That's why I always mention that, because it's like... Because people hype up games for different reasons, right? Like, people say Vampire Survivors is the best game ever. And I do agree with that statement. But, like, if you don't like a game that's entirely about moving around and making build decisions and effectively playing a game with no micro, only macro, um, you're not going to like that game. Same with this. It's just a first-person shooter. The, the core game loop is the same as an extraction shooter. Get your stats, you explore, find new places, get, increase the uh, difficulty, do more things, fight new enemies. If you don't like that, then you're just not going to let it again. Quit it. But it's good if it works. And it works out well. Oh god. Oi, my leg! I don't think this thing has a range. I think this thing is perma range, but it's just really hard to aim. Because long range, it has a it, 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 it has a good travel time. So, better than your short gun, or like a medium gun. Worse than a sniper rifle. So where does this gun stand? I don't know. <laughs> this guy is stepping! What the fuck was that? He was so good at it! He was so good at it. Dude. Okay. We have two potions. There's no way I die here. Three potions! Melee. Also, melee feels very uh, annoying to use. I I never like using melee. I get why you use it for bonus damage and stuff, but 
There's a lot of charge systems in this game, and charge being on melee feels odd because it feels very unwieldy to use, but I get why they have it. Otherwise, it'd be too strong. Um, ammo in this game is also a huge issue. Uh, ammo is a major issue. You need to conserve ammo by being better at the game, but obviously that's hard. So the, uh, the other option is you find ammo in random places, but finding ammo is also RNG, because the map is basically RNG in terms of what you find. So there's some things that can kill the flow of the game. So if you want like a game that's only about the shooting aspect, there's, there's things that will, that will slow you down, which is a, you know primarily the ammo and making sure you have the right resources to do things. It's, it's, it's sort of annoying. Wee! Fuck you. Oh, cool. What? What the hell is this? Excuse me? Sanity? Why sanity? Sanity is a health mechanic that really only shows up in the, in the second map for, for the first time ever. And then doesn't really become a thing until now, I guess. Oh, shit. My sanity's going really low, though. These range assholes. That combination. Jesus. With sanity, too? Oh, fuck. It's so hard. What's up, Oh my god, what is that? What does that do? Ow! Fuck! Not really good about this. I'm not really good here. This is not a good time. Oh god, this is not a good time. Hey chat. Hey chat, how are you? I thought you were setting up the uh, factorial server. Do whatever you wish for the server. Invite whoever you want. It's your server. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm slowly dying. Oh god, okay, well, this is just awful. I don't like this! <laughs> Holy shit! Six minutes?! How are you supposed to do this in six minutes?! Okay, there's a healing potion there, I think. Why am I being- why am I going in the same? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get why you would go insane there. Wait, you're telling me the green thing follows me? What? You know what? That's another thing that I don't like about this game. A lot of things in this game aren't very clear until you really do it multiple times. There's a lot of weird mechanics in this game that don't translate well. Like the one about the alchemist on the island. When he runs away, it's hard to know why he's running away. He sort of runs away. You've no 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 clue. Why right, he slows the death on command with a reload? Nope. I'm good. Demonic weapon. Look at this for now. Heavy spell. Uh, maybe a fetish. You know what? Let's just get a fetish. Sure. How much gold do I have? I can buy gold. Yeah. How are you, Chad? How are you? Where'd he go? We went back to his room. God damn it. But uh, despite how simple and flawed again, again, this is a really good game. I just surprised. It's just you can you can tell that it's early access because not not all the ideas are fully fleshed out yet. They're still flushing some of the things out. Some some portions of the game are kind of annoying, kind of annoying. But that's more about the state of the game and the portions that we're playing versus the game itself. Where is the merchant? There's an enemy behind that wall, and I don't know why. What? Why do you keep moving? Just stand in one place. I'm begging you. Come on. I buy things from you, man. Jeez. Yo, buggy. You know, this is what the church actually imagined for the... For the witches and stuff. So now we're getting into the the lore of the game. 
This is a very accurate game. <laughs> like, this is what they actually believe would would happen if you if you had a witch. Like they genuinely thought, oh shit, like you know, Hellfire will rain down. It's it wasn't gonna happen. That's what people believed for a long time. Second Mysterium, I I do do this. Hmm. Oh, you know what? To enhance any weapon, the second. That's probably why. I don't have enough. I didn't enha enha enhance my gun. Streaker, what do you do? Deals bonus damage to stun enemies. That's awful. Yeah, sure. Sure. We're gonna do it these way. We're just gonna kill a bunch of monsters. But uh, it's why this it, it it's why burning witches was was such a real thing, and also like a lot of uh, other reasons. It wasn't just because of the mythology, but it, like the mythology also enhanced the 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 underlying mis misogyny and and stuff. But a lot of it was there because of this like belief that yeah the witches were real and they would absolutely ruin you. Very fascinating time frame. I hate it. <laughs> well, yeah, White Raven. Good. I can uh, unlock things. So, White Raven lets you re-roll or at least un unlock the third choice of your skill. Which, it seems like they, they, you always only get three choices for your Arcana. But it's nice if you want to focus on a build, but you get other options, like burning and stuff. Doesn't really help. There's also items that you can get prophecies, so... Even prophecies in the study, and it, it influences what, what Arcana you get. Right now, it's random, so I get spell ones, which... Really don't help me much. But there's ways to make the game better for you as a whole. And now that I have a sniper rifle, I should be able to do a lot of that section that we keep dying at. Sounds good. Oh, sure. Really? Free healing looks cool. Keep that. Especially with the hand cannon, this gun is very good to use for a close range. Very, very scared. Um, the weak points also feel very bad to do. I think the weak points maybe should have been somewhat free in terms of the cost, but having to expend ammo for the weak point does mean that you can't really effectively use the weak point afterwards. That's sort of my main complaint with them is that the mechanic is cool. But it basically makes it so that it's only really good to melee someone, and only if you have the ability to melee. Nice. We just game in a different game mode or something? I can see that, yeah. I, I can see that. Like a much more gauntlet -y type of thing, where like things run at you. Or maybe, sorry. Yeah, well, well, a gauntlet mode, but also like a vampire survivors mode. I, I can sort of see that. Arena mode. But I get why they don't, too. They're really focused on telling a story for this game. Really focused. They like they want to have that cohesive experience. It's only sad because you've just seen me do the same map over and over. So it's just kind of like I'm just stuck here. I'm in my own purgatory. Seems like there's a lot of walking. Yeah, it's my mo yeah, it's my main com com complaint. It's a lot of empty space between the cool parts. So it is what it is. But what's interesting is that the later maps use the walking to good effect. The later maps use the walking to, uh, at least the second one, has some puzzle involving the walking that I couldn't figure out. But it does feel like busy work. And it's sort of the main problem with the game is that there's a lot of busy work that doesn't really lead to do much. Sorry, I need to respond to something. Okay, bye. God damn it. I hate these guys so much. This is a roguelike game that Megan A streamed a demo of, maybe? Probably. Maybe I missed it though. Wait, bullets are random because, okay, so it's the same three choices, it's just random. Ah, I shouldn't have used the feather. To be fair, there was a lot of these types of games during the NX Fest. Zoin was one. I thought Zoin was a great take on the melee version. 
And I actually enjoy the melee version a lot more because I enjoy melee combat. But if you want to kill elite goons, I think this game has a beat. You remember the drab graphic style. <laughs> yeah, it's very um it's very it's very old school gothica. It's very, very old school gothica, if it makes sense. It's designed to invoke feelings to in evoke feelings of I don't wanna be here. Which I get, but pretty intense. Oh yeah, pain breaks your focus. Okay, buddy. You wanna go? Go. You wanna go? Go. Oh, you wanna go? Huh? Fuck. Bye, Mr. Gun. I need to get three headshots in a row. It doesn't make a very interesting visual experience. Uh, I would beg to differ. I think it's good. I think it's just a preference thing, though. For you, it... It doesn't, but for me, it definitely gives that feeling of... Especially if you pay attention to the story, it works very, very well. But it's a very contextual type of thing. But even without the context, it's very interesting to look at because it's not just drab gray palette. It's actually weird, interesting architecture. Like, that's, that's the thing that really stands out to me. It's very much reminiscent of a lot of the church architecture that you see around, especially within Catholicism and the Christian and the Christian and the Christianity that particular style and then sort of relaying all of that feeling of being in the space into the open world is nice you see architecture I see assets I mean what's the what's the difference right the only reason why we call it assets is because it's in the game but put in real life what is it? Architects call it patterns. It's all about context. So, I will disagree here. I will disagree, and I think it's actually pretty good. An architect only sees patterns, but we see architecture. We see like a visual design that's like nice. Same with, I guess, like an artist. I assume like an artist would just look at a building and then see it in a very different light from like, say, an architecture. From an, from an architect. Who's been focused on like, does it even work? From a functional perspective. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, we're all at the table, like, like discussing, is this, ar is this an asset or is this architecture? But I guess the point still stands that, like, I can see why you don't like it, but I, but I sort of, my, I offer my, my, like, counterpoint. It's very nice. It's also, it's also very reminiscent of the islands, but it's also because we're stuck in this one map that you don't see the 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 differences. The second map has a weird island vibe, which is weird to see. I suppose both opinions are valid. Well, all opinions are valid, just purely by definition, right? Rate of fire of non-automatic weapons. That doesn't really seem useful. Uh, that doesn't seem useful either. Why am I stuck? Well, I'm not stuck here, but I just want to finish this like one zone. <laughs> I really want to finish that like one extra thing. So the second map you go to and then you come back to it because you need to go back home to to, to open the Gnosis to, to then go to the second world tier to then fight the boss. But opening the second world tier opens up these optional zones in the in the in the earlier map, too. So you get more lore and you discover more guns and stuff, too. So there's a lot of like back and forth that you can do to find things. You guess they fixed your one gripe, which was two small maps. I'm surprised, yeah, if the demo had small maps. This one's very huge. I mean, this is just the first map too. There's all like the second map is a very different experience. Like it's really nice. But I refuse to be done with this map until we we uh we uh we have finished it. And I want to finish this uh, map. There's also inside here, we have to kill the Crypt Keepers. I, I'm pretty sure. It's very different now. Uh, we'll go to the Crypt Keepers after. I think we'll do the Crypt Keepers after. I need to go down there. Clear that whole zone. I have enough ammo to do it. Kind of. Not really. I don't have any ammo, actually. Shit. You have no ammo. 
I have no. Well, I can get some here. Okay, wait. But yeah, see, this is where it gets annoying. The the having to go find ammo, scavenge it, having to manage it, and then having to get more and more as you go. You can buy items to alleviate it, but I feel like the buying items thing is a stopgap to the main problem, which is resource management is not really this game's strong suit. And it, the only resource that I really care about as a player are my health bar and my stamina bar. My ammo count doesn't really matter to me as a player. I get why it's there though, because then it forces you to use multiple different guns. But when you're going to a different zone, I kind of wish there was a different way of handling it. Like I enjoyed Silly Poly Beast because that game had no ammo management. That game was very good. Uh, to be fair, it's a different genre, but it's same sentiment of like forcing you to use different things, being very, very aware of how you use them, using them at the right moment to capitalize on key elements of, you know, the combat. Very much the same beats as this game's combat, but without the ammo management annoyances that was in that first game. We're, uh, sorry, that's within this game, sorry. Two different genres, same beats, two different executions of the, of the same concept, and I vastly enjoy the one that gives you a lot more ammo capabilities. And it feels weird, because the way that this handles it feels a lot like how Doom, Doom Eternal would have handled it, but that game has that chainsaw mechanic, where you get to melee someone, get ammo from the corpse. Which alleviates a lot of the issue. Where is it again? Down there. There we go. So yeah, this one only opens up when you're on the second difficulty of the game. You have to go to the second difficulty to fight the boss. But I want to go down here to find it. Never. Go with this. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 buddy. Personal space. God, I love the guns in this game, though. They're so good. I love blasting people. It's so fun. Sorry, give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I have to respond to messages. Uh, these two should spawn. Kill them quickly. You and- I need to kill this. You didn't die?! Oh fuck, they didn't die. Yo, 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 yo! Dude, that guy's dodging the shit out of me! Maybe I save my burn for the, for the knights. Because the knights are kind of annoying. And I really hate dodging them to hit the, uh, the uh, stun point here. It's just this room too. Like hitting the stun point in this room is very annoying. Okay. Die. Alright, get burned, all of you. Die, die, die. You all die in one shot. There's no elites here, so I can basically go crazy here. Uh, should be one, one more behind him. Yeah. Oh, another thing too, the, the minimap is very basic. I don't even know why it's there, but it kind of helps. But I kind of wish they just made enemies more clear. <laughs> I get why they're, they're kind of hard to see for some enemies, like the phantoms. But it, it is kind of annoying to have to deal and contend with the map. The minimap and, and, and how lackluster it is. This gets way easier. Hit the stun point. Good, good, good. Ed. Boom. Where are you? I can't see you. It's fucking glowing. It's glowing! Fuck. Okay, cool. Now we gotta go across. Ow, ow, ow. Okay! That's not good. See? Why am I getting hit by a uh, sandy here? Oh my god, it's over there! That's the sandy! I see it! <laughs> go, go, go. Collect the remains quickly. My re it's my body. Search the corpse. Ammo, good. Oh god! We're in. Oh fuck! <laughs> it's the goons! So many goons are on it, Jesus! Why does the witch name them goons? Okay, that's not good. I have to jump over there? Sure. Hey. 
I'm not a big fan of the sandy mechanic because it, it feels more like a positioning thing that it forces you to do, but I get why it's there. I just hate positioning mechanics. It's so much less intense than the demo. Uh, you're looking at somebody who's been playing for six hours off for it. It's a very different experience, I think, to playing it from the demo. Because in the demo, you don't have as much power as, as I do. Nor do you have my Maya playstyle, so I would be worried about judging them both the same. It's a much more fully fleshed out experience because I'm much stronger than you would normally be in the in the in the demo. So just be wary of that. It's a very, very different time. How the hell do I open this? Fuck. Do it. Fuck it. Do it. Nice. They're landing multiple shots. A bolt of lightning arcs between and nearby enemies. Oh my god. Powerful witch annihilated small enemy. Small army leaving only two survivors. Herself and a lone soldier hiding in a nearby lake. When she found them and raised her knife to deliver the final blow, lightning struck. And then there were no more survivors. Nice. I don't know if we, we could uh, get like an item. That's cool. Ow. Nice. Stop it. Cool. Yeah, be be mindful that if you're comparing this to the demo, like be temper it very, very carefully, because I'm pretty far in to have this much stuff. Like relatively compared to where the demo probably dropped off at. So Plus, long range weapons and the ability that they afford you to play with changes how you play right if you're going with a close range gun which i usually do and if, it, if and if i could do more of those like short range moves then i could within that zone right but again it's i'm so strong that most of these enemies die pretty quickly you know not that my damage got higher but my understanding of the fights got better and so there's less chaos that happens because i'm more in in in, in control so so says the guy who died most of the other time but now how do i do you can't, can I read these? No, I need Gnosis too. Okay. So I can't read these yet, which means I can't kill whatever demons are here. It sucks. Well. That's it for this zone. Let's just get out of here, though. But there is something to be said about the moments of intensity are very much uh, glued together by moments of quietness. And that's because of the map size. So you get more lore and you find cool things and you get to examine the world. But because of that, you have to really, really sift through a lot of emptiness to get to those. Now this portal should spawn a bunch of enemies, I think. They should be waiting for me. Here. Well, they don't because they're all dead. Nice. And what does this thing do exactly? So the thing of Kerfain. I need to equip it, that's why. Also, this too, I don't get the point of this. <laughs> like, I get the point of it in terms of there's a lot of enemies around you, right? But like, dude, there's nobody here. Like, if there's nobody around you, the portal should just open. I don't know why it takes so long. You can definitely tell that it's still some very early access things. Uh, let's see. So yeah, just be mindful that like, the experience that you get from the demo is going to be very different. Like, I, I, I almost guarantee you, you're probably getting, like, a full experience here. And you haven't even seen the boss yet, which I haven't seen either, right? So presumably that thing's crazy. Spons a cursed bell. Firing at the bell tolls it, stunning all nearby minor enemies. That sucks. I don't want to spend... What? I don't want to spend that to... Fuck. What? Vulture. Fire a difficult to satiate arrow that actually seeks the next target after wounding one. Yo. Okay, this is good. We have a good way to deal with crowds now. I do want to ring because it affects movement, but I want to do damage. I mentioned that that affects offensive powers. I should have done the Mysterium. Well, it's too, it's too late now. We can do uh, new gear weights in the gun room. Do Vulture. I guess I like, take the curse bell. Sure. Curfing. I have to land multiple shots. Kills with item equipped. 
belt. Kind of cool. Doesn't really help though. <laughs> it lasts a long time though. That's actually decent for a very long fight, but all my guns have like three ammo at best. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay, now we go for more <laughs> metanoia. <laughs> You're not supposed to do this. You're not supposed to get only metanoia. You're supposed to get other stats, but like metanoia increases how much witch fire you get, which is the main currency. So I love getting all of it because it's fun. We can go on to the second I island though. Which is a skull 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 close. Well I was here before, but we can actually do the uh, boss now. You're gonna receive a new community which you're thinking of you oh yeah, to make the yeah. I, st I see your post, chat. I see your post in the uh, Discord server. My only thing to be careful of is do it because you want to, not because you feel like you're obligated to. And do things because it's your server, not anyone else's, right? So, basically, do whatever you want because it doesn't really pertain to anyone here necessarily. Uh, but the, you, but you, but you will have people who want to play in the server here. So, you do have a player base. So you could monetize them. Oh God, not these guys. It's nice. Oh God. Oh god, more spawn. Okay, cool. Didn't get the stun. That was bad. The bell tolls! Hoi, fuck! Oi, 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 oi. Fuck you. Oh shit. Oh my god, he actually hit me. Boom! Oh fuck, this guy behind me. I didn't even notice. Well, there goes my focus. One of the things that I kind of get annoyed about too is that the, the game's pacing is very much about you keep focus. And focus feels like it rewards you, but it feels like it's such a core part of the game loop that if you lose it, it the game feels worse for it. Like, I don't think losing focus should have been that easy. I think there should be more steps to it, but I don't know if you can, like, change that. Because, the, again, it just feels like you lose it too often to really be able to utilize it fully, which sucks. And it's so important to the, to the, the core flow of the game. And the poison mushrooms. I swear to God, there's no healing mushroom. There's a healing mushroom! What the fuck?! <laughs> I can't believe that was, a, that was a healing mushroom. Okay, now look at this. We're in a very different place now. There's a lot more different like totems and stuff. And it feels like it's roughly the same. But if you look at the details, then it really starts to matter. We're in a very different place now. It, and it's more of a village actually, which is kind of cool. What, uh, what's down here? Uh, you could modify, but you don't know if you want the extra work. You're watching Narf play Hellsinger on the tap, and the music fits this, this game too. That's funny. Yeah, I will say music in this game feels very, very different. It feels a lot like a please change, please make me whole again. Find the missing head. The 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 music in this game feels a lot like what you get when you when you have this fantasy, this like grim dark fantasy of religion put into a game. Which is exactly like when I think of this game as a very interesting retelling of what happens if this stuff was real. I think it's perfect for it. But when you think of it as a heavy paced action game, you realize it's very different. So it works, but it's also just different in the way that it works. It's not bad, but you definitely notice it. What the hell are those things? You grinded five hours, just get one fish in, in the web, web uh, fishing. Was it good? Bill made mods for web fishing. That's impressive. Well, the fish. Unless it's like very spoilery, then don't say it. Yeah, it's why I say like, um, do uh, do your server as if you want to do your server, because if it's too much effort and you don't feel like you're like you yourself are getting enough re enough return, then it's not worth it, right? Only do it if you feel like you're getting and enjoying the game. Oh. Oh shit! Oh god! There's a lot of enemies. 
Oh god, it's a wood. Oh god. Okay, there's arches now too. This isn't good. Oh, I missed. So how many enemies do we need to kill with this? 25? Jesus. This is no ammo Oh fuck. Oh, okay. I really should switch to a shotgun. I I think too much range is bad now. <laughs> I think I got too much range. Whoa, 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 whoa. The hell was that thing? There's a boss over there. Oh, fuck. Oh, this is bad. It's coming towards me. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, fuck. Told about the devolver. Jesus. Okay, there's a rifleman behind me, too. Woohoo! Fuck, I didn't dodge that time. I had no stamina. He sucks up all your stamina. Fuck! The rifle is so good that it sucks up all of your stamina. Jesus. You get a good angle over here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good, dead. Incantation two. Wait, that's my second Mysterium. Oh shit. Good. I, I have my first one. Now I have my second one. I just need to do them. <laughs> and I need to find ammo. Oh god, there's knights. Oh god, I have three ammo. Oopsie. Good. Shit. Well, I'll get it looks like sure. It's awful, but sure. I do like the idea of this game forcing you to use the guns to upgrade them. But it is very hard to use some of these guns to upgrade them. It takes a while. Now there should be... Okay, there's a dude behind me. I don't know what the fuck that is. It's huge. Drowned captain. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, that's not good. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Eat shit. Boom. 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 Collect King's Bell. Nice. Be aware too that I am... Just because you open the server to members of this community doesn't mean that I can help you moderate it. I, 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 I have no time for that. I'm so sorry. Be aware that you are uh, basically alone if you if you happen to do it, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun, but it's also gonna be a whole different thing, so. I didn't, I, I didn't mean the bell. Yeah, I am not a fan of the um the hold this tap stuff. Feels hard to Cause it's like Like you're like you naturally wanna hit confirm your move. So you hold it. But holding it will, 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 will cast a different move, which feels bad. But yeah, see how the intensity of the game changes when we're in a whole new zone where my skills no, no, like, no longer matter? That's why I'm like, very, like, be very mindful of what you take away from the pace of the game and be careful of the context. Now it's a bit more crazy. There's a lot of dudes and I have no ammo. Where'd you come from? I also really hate the cooldown time when you accidentally tap the button. Ooh, it just doesn't feel good. Fuck off! Look, no worries. Actually, I've, I've always wondered. 
How many people would make a game server if they knew how much work goes into it? There's a surprising amount of stuff that you need to do to, like, run it well. I don't have any ammo. How many of these enemies spawn? Jesus. Oh! Lightning ball damage, yes. Okay, good. Uh, how does it even work? Landing multiple shots, it arts over. I need ammo. Do I have an ammo bag? No. Okay. We need to get to this thing first, then. Just run. Just run. It's fine. Just run. Grab the ammo. The woodsman will spawn, but it's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We can kill them. Oh, fuck. There's also a boss, actually, further down. Somewhere there. Back where it was. How's that? Where are you? This guy. Why is that boss over there? Who are you? What are you? Oh, fuck. It's a word. What the hell are you? What do you- what, oh. what? The warring wails and wakes the, the darkness around me. What the fuck? He's still alive. The warden's still alive somewhere. Okay, maybe I shouldn't shoot those things. Maybe I'll just let, let, let them kill themselves. Fairly straightforward. Uh, just die. Yeah, just die. Yeah, yeah, just die. I will say that this game's boss design is kind of, well, the mini bosses at least feel interesting because a lot of the mini bosses tend to have this thing where they they run away and you have to find them again, which is like okay, but also very annoying to do at a certain, for a certain amount of time. I'd rather they have cooler mechanics, but I get it's sort of like a hard space to figure out, so I don't really care too much, but you, you get the sense that invulnerability periods are, 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 are going to be a major deal with many bosses moving forward. And I, I'm not a big fan of it. But true of every game, I think a lot of games just have in the volunteer for many enemies. Not my joy. Oh fuck! It's a calamity. I messed up. I picked up too many bad things. Oh fuck! The ghost sticker. Oh my fucking god. Where are they? Oh god! They're they're all over there. Oh fuck! They're coming from the portal. Oh fuck. These things go through walls, so I do need to be careful. This is a bad line of sight for him to shoot, shoot these things, right? Hello! Oh, it's a lot of you! Toll the bell. Woo! I'm okay. For now, I think. Okay. Ow. Jesus. Oh god. Please die. Okay, you please die too. What the fuck? Dog, I'm not even fighting you! I'm dealing with fucking ghosts over here, man. Three more ghosts to kill. Fuck off! Cocksucker! Fucking sniper in the side! Jesus! Fuck! Yeah, so the Calamity thing, I'm not a big fan of it. I get the point of it. It's sort of like to punish you for picking up too many items. But then it makes you wonder... Wait, sorry. I have to... I, I'll, I'll, I'll finish that thought soon, okay? But I have to respond to something. Okay. So... I hate the I, I I I hate the calamity because I get the point of it because it's meant to punish you for doing too much, but the whole point of the game is doing a bunch of things. It feels very incongruous to what you'd expect from from, from the game, and it feels like it counters a lot of your intended playstyle in this game, which is find things, explore things, and see new things. It's annoying, very very annoying. Oh yes. Yo, we get even more fire breath. Yeah, sure. Wait, no, it's not worth it. 
Oh, that's what the Mysterium thing is. That that's the Mysterium. Okay. Well, I I I get that. Here's Mysterium actions. We'll try out uh, Basilisk. Sort of like my main complaint about that stuff. It's just it feels bad to be punished for doing what the game wants you to do and what's interesting about the game. Um. I get why they do it though. They wanted to have that roguelike mechanic of don't stay in the map for too long. It, it it adds pressure to what you do to not just farm up. But then it's like, what's the point of the rest of the game's mechanics, right? It's like you get stronger for my cane, so the witch gets stronger. So you need something to balance that. But it's not like the game adds stats to the witch's enemies. So you have to balance it in, in what way? Through a calamity thing, which doesn't feel good. I don't know. It just doesn't. It's it, that's the only weird part about this game. In terms of the core mechanics that, that don't work as well as it feels like it should. And it feels like a holdover from an early part of the design where I imagine like the a game was much more roguelike focused. Grenade! I have no stamina, shit. This thing costs stamina to shooting. Yeah, it does. I would say balancing the sniper rifles is, is the best thing that this game does. I've never seen a game successfully balance sniper rifles around they cost you stamina, so you get safety and range, but you get uh, uh, badness in terms of how much moment to moment safety you have, which is annoying. But it works for what the game is trying to do to balance these different these uh, different types of uh, guns. Okay, can you guys just, just like die? Just blow yourselves up? Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I, I hate these enemies. They're so stupid. Give me a second. Okay. Oh yes, I can discharge more. Man, every time I discharge more, my doctor's always like, "Oh, you gotta, you gotta come back in for more checkups." Here, it's recommended. It's, it, 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 it's encouraged. Yes, love discharge. Let's go. Like you've been discharging a lot more than usual. You should come back in. But here, it's like, "Hey, you want more of it? Go ahead." It's like, "Yes, <laughs> let's go." Yeah. Holy fucking shit, that was- I couldn't even see him, so I- I- I, I wasn't even sure. Yeah, see the melee? It just feels weird when it's weak. A lot of this- the game's mechanics, like, relies on seeing a little icon bar to see if you're charged or, or not, which I don't really enjoy. Get burned. Now you should die. He charges putting like that. Excuse me? Also, uh, reload and dash doesn't feel nice. I get why they do. Again, it, all these decisions make sense because, like, too much power is bad. But I feel like the point of the game is to have a bunch of power, right? So why is it that when you, when you reload and you dash, you get worse? It's just a lot of weird decisions that make you feel like it's built for a much slower paced game, but they're moving towards a much more faster paced core set of mechanics. Which, oh boy. Oh, the fuck. Oh, you can take the bear. Dracula. Oh, yeah. Pain breaks your focus. Fuck you. Okay. Save that. Come after that later. Reminder, it's... Rem remind me that there's a healing potion there. Um, we lost the head quest, which sucks. There's a bit of randomness to the quest here, which is kind of cool. But once you lose it, it feels like you lose it forever. It sucks. Like, I would have had it if I was better at the game, but I wasn't, so I get punished for it. <laughs> the metal tolls for thee!
See, that's why I don't think the bell is good. <laughs> there has to be a machine gun in the game because some of these items really only feel like they're they're good if you have a, a machine gun item. The way it is now, I'm like, I don't know if it makes sense. But it is funny because my class was defined as uh, only play this class if you're advanced at the game. So this could just be a failing on my own part. You really don't know. The witch fire coagulates. Oh, good firework. Nice. Okay, cool. Any enemy killed while burning? Cool. This should be this one. That's why it died. Who a boss should be actually? There should be like a thing over here. I have no more. Oh my god. What you get? Oh, die. Finally. Oh my fucking god, Archer. Elite Woodman and the Husk Archer. Shit. One of those is not like the other. Oh, fuck the swordsman. Please die. I hate those things so much because they blow up on you too. There's one here. Walking towards me, stop it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck you. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Put the bow down. You're a ranger, not a melee. Stop that. Whoa, buddy. Well, oh fuck, this isn't coming. It's 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 to my left side. To my right side, sorry. Who are you? Oh, I don't have the right gun for you. I don't have I don't have the right gun for him. I really don't have the have the right guns for him. Fuck me. Hey! Just keep running and get some safety here. Just, just, just keep running. All the mercenaries. So it's been running towards me. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking Ben drowned or something. What's your name? The drowned captain. Drowned captain. Ben drowned. Same thing. This is hell. To be fair, this would be harder if there were more melee enemies. This is like this is the one part where I feel like the the AI starts to fall apart. When you hide behind a wall, the AI doesn't know what to do. It feels like one of the most effective strategies is just hide and wait for the enemy to slowly mess up. And it'd be harder too if you couldn't see the enemy behind certain things, but because, because the nameplate shows up, it's fairly easy to know what it's shoot. Okay, this is hard now because my bullets are missing. Fuck you. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Get the ammo, fuck it. He's gonna shoot me. Good. Incantation 2. Good. King's Bell again. Good. We have 2 Calamity, which isn't good. It's gonna get worse. But if I get that thing now, I should be okay. There's a healing potion behind me, which I can grab as well. And now you get into the resource management portion of the game, which, like... Okay. Like, I... There's only some resources that, that I really care about, which is... My guns and my ability to kick ass. Like, you know, chewing bubblegum, kicking ass, that kind of thing. That's more fun. Hey, go on fire, I guess. Nice. Hey, guns, good. Pendulum. Uh. Yeah. 
Fuck yeah. Always available power damage. Sure, I'll take it. I don't care if I die. Cool animations. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 <laughs> sorry, it's just funny that like that was the one thing that you said after all oh, everything. This game is a very good art direction in terms of animation. The animation direction is very nice. Which apparently makes sense concerning where they came from. What little I've played of Destiny 2, I really enjoyed the guns in that game. Fuck. But very little. I played very little. But I enjoyed shooting. Everything felt very weighty. Very, very chunky. Which was nice. Gameplay, not so much. What do you mean by gameplay, not so much? Like, it's similar to, or, or dissimilar to? I know it's dissimilar to Destiny 2, but I'm talking mainly about the animation stuff. It feels good to use a gun, and you can sort of see the DNA of what they're working with. Same with, um... I think the devs are also, uh, or were devs of, uh... It's not, it's not Kill Bill, but that's the only way that I remember, remember the name. What's that game at Max Payne? As in gameplay, not good. I beg to differ. I think the gameplay is really good. Again, it's a game that's only good if you play the game. Which is a weird thing to say, but it's not a good stream game. So it's like very important that when you judge this a game for what it is, unless you're playing it in the moment and you're actually shooting things, you don't get how good it is. Because you're, you're not in the feel of it. It's very feeling based. You have to feel the gameplay. Really, the flaw of the game. There's a dude coming at me and he's gonna kill me. Warden of the Dead. Oh god. Again, too. There's shotguns right now and stuff, too. So it's like, you're absolutely able to change your gameplay to how you want. That's sort of the, the main thing, right? Like, I'm sure people who stayed at Remnant 2 said the same thing, where the gameplay isn't good. But then, like, everyone that you speak to who played the game is like, that game is amazing. Because when you play the game, it's vastly different from when you see the game. So, just keep that in mind that, like, unless you play it, it's very hard to, to, to say. It's why I think if the demo is gone, I hope it's still up. But I feel like the, the, the demo is probably the best way to experience this game. Are you, am I feeling it right now? Yes, I am. It's actually really good. But I get why it's hard to communicate, right? It's why I just warn you, like, it's better for you to like, just, just try it. But the demo's really far behind, and it gives that question of, like, is it worth it to have a subpar experience? I don't know. I liberally use the, um... Whatchamacallit? The, 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 the... The, the, the refund policy to test things. Because I'm like, for two hours, let's see how it, how it goes. Initially, I was a bit sort of underwhelmed. But then, like, as you get more stuff, the game gets a lot better. But even then, I enjoyed the shooting. I just wasn't sure if I could do it. But then I got the itch, and I was like, yeah, it's good. Fuck you. Warden down. He's dead. Okay, I don't know what killing him does. Oh, boy. Yeah, there's a perk related to headshots, and at least in the beta slash demo, it was good. I have it now, actually. It's uh, there's a lot actually. There's a lot that deals with headshots. Everything deals well. It's called a critical hit here, but my pistol right now is a critical hit gun. So, the more headshots I land, the better I do overall. My next uh, what you might call it? Uh, magazine. Some gun nerd's gonna come and be like, it's a fucking clip. It's like, sorry, buddy. Should have thought of, should have thought of your dragons better. But the more headshots I land, the better my next set of rounds are, which is nice. So I do a lot of damage as long as I'm consistently good. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually very like curious to see how different the, the game was in the demo compared to live. Because how much did they change about the game to feel and look completely, di completely different, right? 
Because presumably if you enjoyed the demo, then you presumably enjoyed the full experience. Presumably. But again, I totally get it. It's just a game that you have to experience. It's one of the flaws of this type of genre. Every first-person shooter game is a bit like this. Like, it's a bit like watching Quake. People just die on and off screen and you have no clue why. And you're like, what is the point of this, this game? Then you play it and you're like, holy fuck, this game is amazing. But you gotta play the game. You gotta play Quake. I think fire is fast, holy shit. We're in a calamity, this isn't good. No, we're about to be. Okay, you almost killed me, that's cool. The bell tolls for thee. Now burn. Yeah, these firebombs help actually a lot. Get belted. Get belted. <laughs> uh. You're alive? Oh shit, that's a night actually. Okay, I just I hate the buttons. I'm gonna re re uh, re bind that after I hate it. You're kidding me. Oh god. Oh my god. This slow helping is really cool, but Jesus Christ. I hate getting stuck on fucking walls. So much. Actually, you you see that same issue with even games like a, like a Valorant. Some of them watch this Valorant and they go, it's a boring game. And like, you've never played it in your life, have you? Not to say that like people won't like shooting games, but you can't... You can't say it's not an action-packed game. You can say you don't like the game, but it, when I think of somebody saying it's boring as in is nothing, I always think like you haven't even gotten... You've never tried it once then. Because it, it, the games like this get intense only in the moments. It's very much the same issue there too. Hard to sort of tell a lot of people. Even like Counter-Strike. If most of you didn't grow up playing Counter-Strike, I don't think any of you would have any clue. Like watch a pro Counter-Strike match and you go like... I don't know what the fuck is going on. It really doesn't look fun. And then you play the game and you're like, holy fuck, is this intense? It's only in the moments. We need, we need to get ammo. It's over here. Uh, there's no secret here, I don't think. But this is a cool village. It's just, it's just a shooter game curious. The shooter game curious is that you'll never be able to, to communicate your full vision. Because... It's so dependent on, you know, just landing shots. <laughs> like, it's... Like, because what you see of the game, and this is something that I notice about myself, too. When I look at somebody playing a first-person shooter, I'm staring at everything. Right now, I'm telling you right now, I've only ever seen what's in my crosshair. I don't even know what's in the corners of my screen. Like, I, I didn't even see this. I'm just looking at my crosshair, waiting for the next thing to shoot. That's how intense this is. It's a very different experience. Now, how the hell do you solve this? There's a thing to it, but I don't know what it is. Want to know? Okay, I see you didn't read the rules, so you're on thin ice, buddy. It's, li it's literally the first rule or something. It's like, no spoilers. <laughs> I'm asking as a hyper hypothetical. I'm not asking for you to solve it for, for me. Because the fun of a game is solving it for yourself, right? Explain these guys, because I think it probably is better to set traps. Let me Okay, leave that trap there. We'll wait. Actually, this might not even be a big issue, because I think the ammo box is right there. So maybe I just run past. Should be okay. Should be okay. Oh, 
Oh yeah, here we go. Oh fuck. Turn the gun. Oops. Oh my god. I don't even know why I was trying to snipe from that close. That was a bad move. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah. Counteract uh, the bones damage thing. Nice. Okay, where do I go? I go over here. There's a chest over here. Dangerous area, curious object seen. And a chest. You know what this is? Maybe it's only boring for people who have lived in this their whole life, right? When you're in Canada and all of your architecture looks a lot like just like urban hell, this is like a nice change of pace. <laughs> but I get it because like maybe because like, I do remember the point in the, in the games when games were all much were sorry were were all about this this feeling of gray grittiness. But like it's been so long now that I kind of want some of it back if it's done well, and this is done well. Healing elixir, nice, good. Ammo should be here, I think. That ammo? No. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're full. Full. We we're full. Everything. That's nice. I should be able to clear the next zone. I'm very close to a calamity though, so I do need to be careful. Is this a calamity safe thing? You'd hire Gnosis to see it clearly. God damn it. Yes. We just go straight for the boss. Okay, let's just see if this works. I could do the green portal after it though. Oh no, you can't. Do I need a starting point? No, I know. Fuck it. Let's go. We'll see this goes. I've never seen this boss, so it's gonna be first time for all of us. But wasn't this a Gnosis 1 or is this a Gnosis 2? Hmm. Maybe the boss can wait. <laughs> okay. Uh. It wasn't really worth it. I'm gonna be honest with you. That just wasn't really. That just wasn't really worth it. Wait, wait he's still alive. Oh, you know, he probably just respawns constantly. Oh, wait. Maybe it was a wait. Stigma Diabolicum. A cyst that attaches the enemies, becoming their additional weak spot. Nice! Does that, does that mean it replaces one of the weak spots? Or does it mean that if they have one weak spot, there's now two? I don't know. I'm hoping it's the former, not the latter. Wish I was haunted by the irony that their strength. Strongest spells align with what the, with what the church vehemently opposes. Researchers and prayers are thus far faced with the harsh reality that the end sometimes justify the means. This supposed to hold true with this ugly, disgusting, but highly effective hex. Yep. And see that? Like, the writing there really, really hones in on what it's trying to say. You live in this hypocritical world where you're a prayer that uses the power of the witch to do what you need to do for the sake of the church, but they condemn it. It's like, it's this weird hypocritical state. The end justifies the means in the, in the eyes of the church, but is that true? Not really. Just such a fascinating way of taking the storytelling. Do I just drop in and die, or...? Shield breaker. Well, I wish I had that... Uh, I know exactly what happened. That's so fucking stupid. I... <sighs> Give me a second. I have to take a quick, yeah, quick, yeah, quick call. Okay, I'm back. Some guy calling me from Bell, and there's just a bunch of noise behind him. And it's like, dude, why even bother calling me? Just call me back if you're gonna. Again, I hate our telecom companies here in Canada, but <clears throat> I hate the game's usage of fall damage. And I, I'm gonna say it. I don't know why the entry to a boss zone is fall damage. I thought Borderlands had the right idea a long time ago. Like fall damage has never been fun. It's just been like an annoyance that you had to deal with. That's not even like the point of the game. It's one iron cross with lightning bolts, sure. Uh, relic of the Mad Woman, sure. An iron with infant blood. The relic strikes any near near death enemy with a with heavenly lightning, sure. 
Uh, we'll go with the ring and a fetish. Nope, no, no. Yeah, that was frustrating. Griffane, I can upgrade this. Yeah, sure. Shots to trigger lightning 30? Jesus! What the fuck? Oh, chance to spray shot to trigger lightning. Okay, thank god. The gear enhancements are ready. I really want those. But I do have a new spell. Iron Cross. But yeah, I, 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 the fall damage to me is always stupid. I feel like it's always stupid. It's always been stupid. But in this game in particular, I, I just sort of wonder what's the point of the fall damage. Besides to punish you for falling into like a random spot. Like, I get if you fall off the map, right? But it doesn't change how you play the game. It just means that you just, lo you just lost everything. But especially when you go to a boss room, I've seen many, many games do this. And I always wonder why. I never understood why games punish you for going into a boss room and then have like a test of skill for it or something when it's like especially when it's something like that right or when it's when it feels disconnected from the rest of the game in terms of what you need to do I get it if it's connected and like let led into well right if it's a very interesting entry requirement but there you rarely if ever deal with the following in this game so that's sort of like the one issue with it why the fall damage feels so stupid to have because your muscle reflex for doing a double jump to stop it isn't there. Two, I'm going into a boss room. I don't know if it's a level transition or if I'm supposed to go they go go down. How do I know before I know? So it's a free death that forces you to just die. It doesn't feel interesting. That's really. I need to buy some uh, coins actually because I need to do some research. Yeah, yeah that was annoying. <laughs> Another fan of that actually. Okay. Interesting that they would that they would do that. You can tell that this game is still early access by some of the, some of the decisions that are made. There's some decisions that still need to be ironed out, I think. I don't know why you'd fall down and take fall damage in that room. I can't even tell when it loads into it, so it feels meaningless. A lot of small decisions that it's like the polish stage. But at least the game is at the polish stage. Okay, cool. We have 11 coins. I have nothing. Still can't even do a single research. Nice. Good. The shotgun. This thing is too fast. What the? I can't use this. I don't know if I can use this well. I have to get a different shotgun. I'm going to mess this up. But it does work well with my knife. So it should be good. The worst part too about the, the extraction concept, and this is sort of the weird part. The extraction concept plus the fact that you have to get power by going through the map with like a road like, it does feel at odds with each other. It's 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 the one weird part of this game where you have to play carefully. But then when you die, you lose everything. You, it feels like you're punished twice for it. You're now weaker and you have to get your stuff somewhere, which gives more of a risk to it. It makes sense when you think of it from purely the extraction standpoint, but from a roguelike perspective, it feels bad, which is weird. It's definitely weird. Again, it, it's, it's, it's just, a, it's just the, the way the game works, so it, it's not a bad, bad thing, but it, you, you can tell that like, they're trying a very interesting mix of things that normally shouldn't work. Please explode. Please explode. Please explode. Hey, dude. I want to try to tell you. Holy shit, this thing's amazing. I take everything back. Yo! Lightning bolts transfer all elemental satisfaction of the source. I have no el elemental satisfaction. I'll get more bolts. You're kidding me. Sorry, some fire doesn't hurt you. Uh, uh, other fires do. It's not really clear when, when a fire should hurt you and when, when it doesn't. But I feel like, uh, again, that feels like a problem with first person games and RPGs in, in the general. Like, I look at the gameplay of um, Deadlock. I try to follow those tournaments because I, I, I enjoy that, that, that game. 
But you see the way people play and you're like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's really hard to tell what is happening. A lot of chest. Oh my god. Uh, there's a thing over there to my left, but I don't want that. I just want this. Hey, you. Whoa! That is a cyst. What does a cyst do again? Lightning bell, go. Shackle. That's kind of awful, actually. Um, I don't think that did anything. Really good. Oh, fuck. Excuse me? Fuck this. Holy shit, this thing feels fun to use. Oh god, the reload time is painful though. This is this is the main flaw of the gun. I see. Great fire rate. Really good on the full clip. Really bad when you need to clear a room. I'm playing so poorly. Jesus. Listen, buddy. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, good. Oh my god. <laughs> Just reload. Hey, it does stun them, though. I didn't know that shotguns can stun. That's a very handy property to know, actually. Oh, good, it's back. There we go. Alright, what do we do? Let me go here. I need to still deal with you. Please die for kind of Thank you. That was for one? It's a magic. Fuck. I need to get those, uh, whatchamacallit? Prophecies. Non field shots knock back and do heavily reduced damage on shocked near death enemies. What? Oh. Gotcha. Son of a. What the fuck? Why do you blow up? Oh, you don't. You can blow up some space shot me. Stop running towards me! Fuck off! In the keys? No. I also kind of hate the inventory system. It feels a bit kludgy to find what you currently have. But it's like, what's the alternative, right? It might, it, it'd be even worse if it wasn't like this, I think. But it does have to be cumbersome in some way to, to work. Old supply chest, that would go uh, here into there. Go there. Please heal me. <laughs> what the fuck is a healing mushroom? I swear it's not consistent, is it? I've only found it once though, so maybe I don't know it yet. You heal me? Yeah, this is the worst part. There's something about the pathing in this map that feels weird. Though, though, though maybe stamina does not. Maybe stamina doesn't drain if you're far enough. Who knows? Am I not in battle focus? Or not? I, I, I'm not. Shit. Was there an upside to that one that I took? non kill shots only knockback. So you have to headshot ones that are lightning shot. But 
there's no benefit if you do headshot them, aside from the fact that you get to kill them. So what's the point of ever, ever taking that, besides maybe stunning people? Hmm. I guess it makes it safer to headshot if you have a fire, if you have a, if you have a higher fast, higher fire rate gun, which I don't have. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, we're at the two arm mark, so at the end of the season, we're going straight into sand health. I swear to God, there's no healing mark. I know we saw one last time, but I think that was just a fluke. I think the game bugged out and decided to heal me instead of, instead of damaging me. I refuse to believe that, that there's a heal. There's no way I'm consistently missing it. Get sisters! Oh fuck, it's you. Mercenary. This is kind of bad. I don't really have a good gun for this. Like, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Yes. Yes! Final bullet? Uh, sliding partially reloads a weapon. Increases damage and range during the slide. That's awful. I've never seen the slide be useful. You healing? Okay, this is this is how we know. Okay, which one's healing, okay? Flat? Wait, they all heal. Oh, they all heal. Oh, do you heal? They all heal. Oh my god. It's a healing circle. Yes. We're gonna go over here. You know what it is? There's a particular type of personality that would enjoy these games. If you don't like Maple Story, I don't think you'd like this. <laughs> or if you don't like uh, Dead Frontier, then you wouldn't like this or something, right? You have to enjoy the fact that there's a lot of nothing in between the sparse moments of activity. You have to enjoy farming to a significant degree. There's a little like a... Uh... There's a little like an MMO because of the farming. Fuck me. Ooh, who fucker? What fucker shot me? Fuckeries, where are you? We're almost at Calamity too. Fuck me. Fuck me, just lightning bolt this shit. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know that thing could melee you. Fuck. Yeah, I gotta walk all the way back. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, it's this guy! It seems to lead you somewhere. Okay, sure. Yeah, lead, uh, lead me somewhere. Sure. Lead me wherever you want to go, buddy. Hey, Chad. How are you? Oh, tomorrow we're doing Power Wash Simulator with um, everyone. Uh, oh, it's okay. Ah, whoa, whoa. Friends, I, I, I don't want to deal with that. Yet. I don't even know why I bothered hitting the sun when I've already gotten him down. Hmm. Okay, well, we, wa we walk back. <laughs> you know what's funny? There was one chatter here who was like, they... In they they fixed the criticism of the map being too, too, too small. But my criticism is that the map feels a bit too large with nothing in between. And I wonder, it's like... There has to be some middle ground between this and that. It can't just be this large, can it? You know what it is? Until they implement more potions like Witcher style. Maybe that's when the game gets interesting. You're fucking kidding me. I thought you healed me. You fuckers. I, I, I believe in you. 
I, I believe in you. I, I ate the rest of you and you were fine, and now you all die? Fuck you. What do you want? Show me. I got lied to you about the fairy circle. I have no healing. So low. There's somebody here. Uh oh. That's Scar Chase. Good. Do you, do you think the ghost even knows that there's like creatures around this? Do they even care that there are creatures trying trying to kill me? Or do they just want me to help them? Oh, shoot. Please, lightning. Shockwave. Critical kills when shocked and introduce a storm shock where that knocks back and shocks all nearby enemies. That's a pretty good combo. If I can shock them consistently, you can, you can get a perma shock. And it just means I, I can never body shot them ever again. That's a pretty good combo. And where are you? Legman, where are you? Here you go. What are you even guiding me to? This ghost is trolling me, I swear to god. Please. Oh. Hey. Rosary, sure. Cure it. Okay. The Warden of the Dead. I really need these two before I fight the boss, I think. Then we jump down. I need healing items too, so I need to open up these uh, chests. Shit. <laughs> oh god, this boss is gonna fuck me. I really messed up. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. Please, Helio items. Fuck it. Just go with it. Takes too long. We're out of here. Worst thing that can happen is I die again to stupid fall damage. It's so fucking stupid. The jump? See, like, why do you have to do that? I don't get it. It doesn't feel meaningful. Okay, you're kind of crazy. Holy fuck. What the? Get get weak pointed, I guess. I see why they give you the sis skill, because you wouldn't be able to do this otherwise. I don't think. Fuck me. Revenants. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, th th this is super. This is stellar. I love this. I love it. I love, I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then the calamity happens. Why does the calamity happen? What? All right, fuck it. I'll, I'll get my shit next time. We have, we have to move on. But it's a good game. It's an actually, it's actually a good game. It just also needs a bit of work in different areas, right? It's not perfect, but what is perfect? And I think it's sort of... It's a great take initially, but it, it's going to take time before it gets there fully, I think. Um, it's also very difficult. Like, it, 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 it can get very intense depending on what you choose to play with, and... Uh, the intensity, a lot of it was early on, but you still feel it now, especially down in this new zone. Again, it's... I'm, sort of, I, I'm always surprised whenever people judge something by a very small lens uh, within what we do, right? Because it shouldn't take... It shouldn't take a genius to realize that, like, I... You know, I'm, I'm farming these these earlier levels, and that's why it looks the way that it is. But also, again, like, it's... I get it, too, because it's like, maybe you do need to be, because how you translate an experience that the game offers you to the screen, you really can't in, in, in many different cases. Like, if you ever watch someone play Doom Eternal versus the marketing material, it's a very different experience. Almost always, it feels way more uh, uh, cautious and slow when you watch your average person play Doom Eternal. Which is weird, because you watch the people who play the game very, very well, like the people who are, who are really skilled, and this game changes a and the game changes a lot. Same thing here. I'm not the best player at it, so you get a very bad look at it. But I'm playing in, in a way that still feels intense to me without necessarily making it complicated, so what do you do? But it's kind of the beauty of the game too. 
a lot of options for you to play with, right? It's a very complex game. And there's a lot of different tools for you to, to play with that to can tailor the experience towards you. Um, very cool mystery stuff, too. I, I really enjoy these, like, weird puzzle things. Even though I didn't expect it, it's, it, it's, a, nice, it, it's a nice surprise to, to see it, but... Yeah, still some issues here and there, just in terms of, like, core stuff. And also, it's just... I don't know how they're gonna pull it off in, in the long run, because... Roguelike and Extraction Shooter feel like two different sides of the same coin. They, 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 it feels like the thing that makes roguelites feel bad feels really bad in an extraction shooter or like vice versa. Where you lose power, but then you also lose your items, so you lose more power. It just feels like more of the same, but so it just feels worse overall instead of feeling better. So there's a bit of an element of that, and I wonder how they're going to take that fully, but at least you don't lose your equipment. <laughs> That's a foolish wire. I'll never play this again on stream. I just, I, I just want to play the showy role because boy, this game is fun. But man, I just want to get my thoughts out too. It has good parts and only bad parts. At least it'll be done in five years, right? Maybe. <laughs>